Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Momulaka from Kenya. I talk about my faith, marriage and lifestyle. I'm so happy you joined me today. Before I start, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this time and I thank you for every viewer. I thank you for what you are doing for them. Holy Spirit, I welcome you once again. Take over this session. Let whatever that I'm going to speak in this video be of great impact in the life of every viewer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me today. Let me start by saying a big thank you for every one of you that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for your love. I cannot take it for granted. And please, if you are new here or you have not subscribed, just click on the red button below the video written subscribe and also hit that notification bell put it on so that every time i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified thank you so much for your love so in today's video i'm going to talk on the topic how to find true love and let me say that the great a great deal of your happiness depends so much on who you will who you will spend your life with in future in future that is why the the decision to choose a marital a spouse to be to choose a spouse is a very serious decision that is why you must take it seriously don't be in haste to choose a, mar a marriage partner don't just say because of age or because of people are going or because of pressure from friends or from family so i just want to get married to marry no you must take your time and make the right decision because the choice you make now the partner you choose to be to have now as your marriage or your your future partner will either will actually affect you either positively or negatively if you choose a wife now or a husband, it, he will be the husband or the father of your children or the mother of your children, uh, I mean your children. And if you do it so, it will affect them. It will affect your family. So please, for you to choose a, mar a, a partner, a marital partner, a marriage partner, you must take it very seriously. And the foundation is very important because if this example I use actually every day that if your foundation is faulty what can you do in future if you do you know the if just a marriage is just like a house if you build your house on a bad foundation that house no matter the, the how beautiful it is when the storms come or the heavy rain or anything that house will collapse and how much you you invest in your foundation determines how long how high i like how long how long lasting that building will be so how much you invest in your single life on how to uh, yeah on how to how you prepare for your my your marriage will depend how long or how how lasting that relationship will be so it it as a single person now take time and prepare you cannot prepare enough Continue preparing. When that time comes, you'll be gloriously married. So am I, I am married. So don't be in a haste to choose a, a marriage, a, a mar like a spouse. Just take your time. And when times come, God's time is always the best. And God cannot forsake you. He knows you want to get married. He knows you have that desire to be married or to marry. And he's just working in everything just to make sure that your marriage will be successful. That is why it's taking time it, it so that he is preparing you if you see that you are ready just maybe you are supposed to be is not ready that is why god is preparing him or her so that to be gloriously married and i know when that time comes you will enjoy your home in jesus name so the how to find true love the number one thing i think is very important for you to find true love you must first of all find god when i meet Finding God, I mean that you must be born again. And if you are born again, you must work your relationship with God. You must work with God. Make sure your relationship with God is very solid. Because, you know, actually God is love. 
and when you read in in I mean first John chapter 4 verse 9 verse 8 verse 9 it says that God is love so if your relationship with God is solid if you have you have already fallen in love with God it will be easy for you to find love because you know the love of God is very true is the true love and if you have that relationship with God, you know how much God loves you. When you are looking for somebody to marry, you will know if that love, if that person uh, is portraying a fake love, uh, a fake love, or a true love. So the number one thing is you must fall in love with God first before falling in love with anybody. If you love God, because God. You know, you know when you see the characteristics of uh, God's love, God loves us so much that despite of what our sins, He gave His only begotten Son, and you know He forgave us, and He for just because of His love He forgave us, and if you are in love with God, it will be easy for you to forgive. So if you have not experienced god kind of love it will be hard for you to find true love so my emphasis in this video is you must first of all fall in love with god before falling in love with men and when you are in relationship with god when we are in love in god you will serve him you know serving god like if you one of the things that you say shows that you love god is you will serve him you will serve him in, in in your capacity if you serve god there is nothing that will shake you because you know god is faithful and he has said that if you serve him you if you obey and serve him he will bless you and he will give you a you wish you shall eat the good of the land and all of the goods in the land is marriage so you must first of all fall in love with god before you must find God's love before finding the love from men. If and you know the the proofs that you love God is obedience. You know, if what everything that let anything that God says that you must do, let it move you. Let it just do it. Obey God delightfully. If you obey and you know if you serve God, it means that you obey Him because He has said that if we obey and serve Him, He will bless us. And if you have you know his, his the 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 commandments of God, the ten commandments, and one of the first commandment is love God. The second one is love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the number one thing for you to find true love, you must first of all fall in love with God. If you you love God, it will help you to love other people. If you don't know how to love God, it will be hard for you to love men so my emphasis in this video is please make sure you for you to find true love you must be first of all be in love with god for you to enjoy for you to find true love people will not come like if any man or if you are a lady a man comes with his fake love you will just know this is fake love because you know how the god kind of love you know you have experienced that kind of love and if you are you are in love with god you will be completing him. You will not be looking for somebody to complete you. You will not be desperate to look for love outside. No, because you have God. You know God loves you. You are completing God. That is what the word of God is saying. You are completing God. So you will be not looking for people to complete you. And it, it that that one helps you not to do the wrong, like to be in haste to just to get to look for somebody to marry because of desperation of what. Because you you know and you know that God loves you and you have God in your God has already completed you. So my emphasis is please make sure you look for you fall in love with God first before for you to find true love you must first of all find God find true love of God if you find true love of God it will be easy for you to find to find true love from men and it will be easy for you to choose who he is your God or day spouse and I know that God will help you to make the right decision in Jesus name and the second thing is for you to to find true love you must find 
purpose. Know what God has created you to be. God has God did not just create you empty. There are things that God has gifts and talents in you. And you know, as a single person, it is easy for you. Now it's, it's, it is easy for you to find them. When you find what God has created you for you, uh, how, why God created you to be, why, why you exist on this planet, it will be help. It will help. It will help you to choose. I mean, to find the the true love, like to find them, the the one that God has ordained you as as your spouse. You know, because if you know why you exist, nobody you, you cannot. And when you are choosing a marriage, a partner for marriage, it will help you if you know this person, you are going to the, uh, the same direction. Because you cannot marry the person that they were going different direction. It will be hard for you. How will you fulfill destiny if you are saying that if you if you marry the wrong person? So if as a single person, make sure you find, you for you to find true love, first of all, find your purpose of existence. Why God created you? Fulfill destiny because don't just and don't put your don't put your destiny on hold just because of marriage. No, fulfill destiny on your way. God will grant you your desires of marriage and will be gloriously married. So the number three, the number two thing is make sure you find purpose for living. And I know God will help you in Jesus' name. Maybe somebody is there and you you are love you are not sure if you love God. And this is the right time for you to 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 accept him in your life, so that you can you can you can you can fall in love with him, so that it will be easy for you to find true love. So just pray with me this short prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Re delete my name in the book of in the. I mean, I come to you as a sinner. Accept me. And I confess with my, I confess today with my mouth, and I believe in my heart that you are Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. Congratulations for praying that prayer. Please make sure you just look for the church, the Bible teaching church around you, and join the brethren there for your spiritual growth. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If if you have been blessed with this video, please make sure you like this video, you click on that thumb, and you share it with your friends, and don't forget to comment in the comment box. Thank you so much for your love. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.